Second first of all, a huge thank you to you, Oliver Herhorn, who many of you will know, Welcome. who has biked all the way over here to be with us. We have sanitized our hands. Um, Oliver was wearing a mask. We've just sanitized our hands and we are keeping a, a, a proper social distance. So, first of all, a huge thank you. This is something you haven't done before. No. Right. You're okay. very, very welcome. <laughs> okay, that's very kind of you. Really <laughs> appreciate it. So let me, this is really, really important that we, that I explain clearly exactly what is, what is, what is going to happen. So, you know Pesach from the school. Yes. And you know the, the wonderful parts of Pesach. We do not um, eat. There are certain products that we are forbidden to eat. But more than that, and this is what really what today is about, is that there are products that we are forbidden to possess, to own. Oh, yeah. And in the olden days, it was easier to get rid of them. I'll, I'll explain in a minute what those things are. In the olden days, it was more complicated. Uh, it was easier, rather, to, just to get rid of them. You had a little bit of, you know, you lived subsistence, you know, hand-to-hand, -hand, day to day, and you yeah. got rid of it, and that was the end of that. Today, it's much more sophisticated, and there are some people here, there are some organizations here that, that own quite a lot of chomets, and there are people that, that are stockpiled, or they have quite a lot of chomets, and it's really important that we ensure that they enter cho Pesach chomets free. Now, what is chomets? So chomets is... Any of the five basic grains, that's barley, wheat, we'll talk about wheat mainly, wheat, water, that then rises, um, that creates something called leaven, it's called chomets. So that is bread, biscuits, crackers, pasta, and any of their derivatives in any form. It can sometimes even be in different form, it can be in liquid form, um, uh, corn syrup, uh, glucose of uh, various types. So it is strictly forbidden for us to possess them when Pesach starts, and actually from tomorrow midday. So, what do we do? We could take everything in my freezer and just chuck it out. That's not practical. So therefore, many, many, many hundreds of years ago, the rabbis uh, came up with, with a concept, an idea, which is to transfer ownership, to sell it, to sell the chomets. So okay. today, I am going to sell you a lot of chomets. And the first thing to mention, and this is, ah. this is what it's about, okay. okay? This is what it is. Now, the first thing to mention, and this is really, really important, is this is not a legal fiction. This must not be a legal fiction, because that would be a disservice to us. This what, has what to be... Legal, legal fiction? Uh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Legal fiction means it's a workaround. It's a pretend. It's some sort of uh, show. Yeah. It's just as if, right, although the camera is rolling, that's not why we're doing it. This is this must be a fully enforceable, legal, complete and utter sale. Okay. That is what it's meant to be. Okay. Now, I, 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 I assure you on the outset, and we are we are rolling, I assure you that you will not lose out of this, and nor will you find yourself in a situation where you are compelled to be stuck with tens of thousands of euros worth of comets, which you may not then want in eight, yeah. in eight days' time when, when Pesach ends, okay? And therefore, I, I guarantee you that I will be prepared to purchase it back at a favourable price, such that, on behalf of all the people that have empowered and authorised me to do so, such that you are not left with a, whatever, a £60,000 uh, uh, or euro uh, bill, I will buy it back from you at a discount, okay. or rather at a discount which is favourable to you, so you will end up being rewarded for your services and you will make some money on it either way. But, again, I stress, and I cannot stress enough, this is really important for, all, for the community, for all of us, this is a serious matter, and therefore this is a legally binding sale. Okay. Okay? I'm buying... Something. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. That's, so that's, that's the first and most important thing to say. <clears throat> and therefore we are... Um, we are going to now. Here's here's where it becomes a little bit more complicated. We need to do something that is going to be binding and um, enforceable um, according to two very different systems of law of jurisprudence. We have German law mm -hmm. and we have Jewish law, and they don't necessarily they might not see eye to eye on how property or possessions would pass title ownership between a Jew and a Gentile. They may see things differently, and therefore we want to make sure that we are ticking both boxes. Okay. So this is, is something that will be enforceable and legal according to German, civil, and commercial law, and at the same time also Jewish law. Now, you know what it is with Jews. Yeah. One Jew, how many opinions? At least two. two. Probably three. <laughs> yeah. Therefore, yeah. it's the same. I, I didn't bring my lawyer. <laughs> you <laughs> don't need your lawyer. Then we'd have two opinions. <laughs> yeah, too, I guess, Indeed. But. You don't need your lawyer. Well, okay. The reason I mention that is as follows. Because there are 
uh, differences of opinion amongst the legal, the Jewish legal authorities, the halachic authorities, mm-hmm. what method is used to transact and to transfer title between a Jew and a Gentile. And there are many, many different opinions. So we are today are going to try and keep as many rabbis as we can happy by utilizing okay. a number of different methods. Again, I stress, we, we want that each of them should be valid and enforceable in their own right. So w- no one should void the other. The contract will stand on the basis of... We're going to do seven different forms of transaction. utilizing, okay. t- And I'll explain everything very, very clearly. Seven. The point I want to make now is that each of them should be valid on their own. But we're going to try and cover as many bases as we can by using many different methods. Okay? Okay. So, for example, one of them is going to be we're going to shake hands. Yeah. And that is known in law, in Jewish law, as situmta, which means the utilization of the normally accepted practices within society. And that that is binding. So people shake on a deal often, don't they? They shake, so we're going to shake. By the way, we have both just sanitized our hands. Yeah. Okay? Thank you. Okay, got to be careful. Right. So we're going to use seven different methods. And the first thing we are going to do... So let me explain to you what has happened. What has happened is as follows. We created... I created a... a, uh, I can't remember who created it, a Google Doc. We had the, we've created various forms whereby people would authorize me. They yeah. would give me power of attorney and authorize me to sell their chomets to you. So I am selling at the moment, and we're going to be selling shortly, a lot of chomets. Okay. This is not all mine. These are, I haven't even I counted. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of different people, okay. some organizations um, who have authorized me to sell their chomets. I'm also going to sell you my own personal chomets yeah. as well. Are they all from Berlin? They are. Ooh, that, that is ooh, that is a very Talmudic question, Oliver. I'm very impressed. I <laughs> see my, all my teaching you has worked. <laughs> That's a great question because, you know, uh, Mrs. Baum, who teaches in the school. Yeah. So she is now in the, the USA. Yeah. That is a brilliant question. So the time zones are different. Which means right. that Pesach for her is going to start later. And end later. But end later. So we need to do something. We're going to do something. That's a very brilliant question. What happens when you have somebody who is separated from their chomets? Their chomets is in one time zone or one jurisdiction, and they are somewhere else. And that, again, is an argument, of course. Yeah. Two rabbis, two opinions. So we're going to try and cover all the bases. So today is in the Jewish calendar. Today is the 13th of Nisan. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's today's date. The Jewish date is the 13th okay. of Nisan. Now, Pesach starts, you might be wondering, why did I call you today? Pesach starts tomorrow yeah. evening. So, it's going to take me too long to explain, so just trust me, we're going, there's going to be two parts to this sale. For some people, such as Rabbi Baum and others, who have authorized me, we are going to do a sale that is going to be valid and binding and irreversible from now. Okay. It will then extend until well after, until Pesach ends in the USA. Okay. And these are the people here. Okay? Great. So we're going to do everything twice. I'm going to try and speed this up a bit. Um, we're going to do everything twice. So we have the people who want the sale to be valid today. And we have those who want the sale. It will be valid today, but they will have a right to access and even eat any of the comments up until I think it's 11 something tomorrow. I've got the it's time like here renting, somewhere. It's like renting an apartment. Kind of thing. That's which, right. Uh, Let me look. Where did I put the Which times? will start in the future. Absolutely. So I've misplaced them. The, the last time for eating comets tomorrow is at, I think it's around about 11. Here we go. That's right. I'm going to still print this out. Save the man Achilles Chomets. Tomorrow is 10.53. Okay. So the second set we're going to do, it will be a legally valid and binding and irreversible sale from now but with an added proviso, which I'm asking you please to agree, which is that those other people will still be allowed to access and even eat some of your hummets up until 10.53 tomorrow morning. Okay, so I'm kind of renting it out to them. Kind of thing, you're giving yeah. them permission, okay. correct. Yeah. And we'll see that shouldn't affect, that does not in any way affect the validity of the sale. So I think we are basically clear. So now you've understood what you're, yes. what, what, what you're going to do, and we're now going to begin to look at the different ways of doing this, and we're first going to do it for those who are who want it to be valid and irreversible from today, those who are abroad. So the first thing we're going to utilize is money. Now, All right. money is going to be used for two totally separate uh, different things. The first thing is, I'm going to give you a ballpark valuation 
of the chametz that you're buying. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Okay. It's a good job you're sitting down because it's quite a lot. It's quite a lot. Do it's in the region. I hope I don't... Are my mathematical skills required because they're not very difficult? Not at all. Not okay. at all. They're probably be- <laughs> Trust me, they're better than mine. Okay. Mine are useless. I hated maths in school. Yeah, I still so don't know why they taught it to me. I have a phone. Never mind. So we are looking yeah. at an approximation of, and again, I don't know totally how accurate it is. And I wish to add, as I'm going to take you through the, in fact, we should do that really now. I am going to take you through the master document. Can you see what happened? I printed one out. What did I do with it, Oliver? I don't know. There we go, there we go. So you've got one and I've got one. And, and in fact, yeah, before yeah. we do this, I'm actually first going to... Now, I know this is this in Hebrew. This is the contract. This right? is the contract. Yeah. Now, and this contract, although it's in Hebrew, you have, you can t- you're going to take away a copy of it with you. Yeah. Which, there are tens of thousands of Hebrew speakers in Berlin, and I'm more than happy to pay for you to have this officially translated and notarized. So, if you need... Well, if, you, if you don't we'll trust me in any way, which is fine... You, and this is, it is in Hebrew. Okay. You have the, um, on my cost, I undertake I'm to pay, pay should you so wish. But okay. I, need to, I, need to, I need to explain that to you, that you have that option. All right, thanks very much. Okay. I'll see if I, uh, after You can exercise that with the greatest of pleasure. I, I guess that after your okay. explanations, I'll be fine. If I hope so. If any further questions, I will right. maybe get back to that option. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to very briefly run through. It's a long contract. But yes. I'm going to briefly I run through the, the highlights of it. Okay. Um, and then at the end, after we've done the various different forms of purchase, I'm going to sign it and you're going to sign it. Okay. Okay. So it says as follows. Can I make notes on it? You can do whatever you want. This is, is this your copy. This is my yeah, copy. that's your copy. You can do whatever I, you like. You can I do take it. notes maybe if I want to. With, absolutely, with pleasure. Uh, you can then take it home and, you know, uh, Google Translate it or whatever. And again, I said, uh, we will pay for a notarized translation if you wish. So, it says essentially as follows. It says that my, that's me, Rabbi Roberts, my signature underneath will testify um, and in a binding way that... I, Rabbi Shimshon David Roberts, who lives in 93 Febelina Strasse, Berlin, 10, 11, 19, yeah. who I, I approach this process with the authorization, the harsha, the authorization of numerous people whose names, addresses, phone numbers, emails, sorry, no PIN numbers for their <laughs> accounts, but they are all attached here, and they will be attached to this master document, which you then will be able to take away with you. And now this also covers those people that for whatever reason, meant to call me, but forgot. Or, I don't know, the, the, the form is in the post, Rabbi Roberts, I forgot. Or, let's say, I got some forms and I misplaced them. Or, what about those people who gave me oral authorization and didn't get round to, to signing the document? Okay? okay, they're all included. They're all included. And even those people who... Um, um, normally give me, now usually, this is my first year doing this here, so usually you say, even those people who usually do, and then, so any, in other words, this covers anybody who is happy to, for me to act on their behalf, okay. because it's in their interest. So even if they didn't manage to fill in a form, even if I lost the form, even if they just gave, gave me um, oral authorization. So um, all, for all of these people, I have total uh, power of attorney and authorization to sell on their behalf, any forms of chametz, not just chametz, but uh, um, foods, foodstuffs and preparations which have chametz in them. They're not totally chametz, but they have ingredients of chametz. They're chametz, uh, they have some chametz ingredients in them. And there may be, uh, it could be pet food, it could be that somebody has a, a pot and they haven't washed it and there's a, there's a bit of porridge stuck to the side of it. Um, it could be it, it could be in the form of some medication, might be chametz potentially some vitamins. There's also chametz can come in all sorts of shapes and forms and sizes, um, and all of these are included. All of these included. They've all authorized me to sell the chametz on their behalf. Now here is where we continue to say, as well as that, not only are they selling the chametz, they have authorized me to give to ask you to rent the space upon which their chametz may be resting over Pesach. And this is one of the seven forms of, I'll explain it. Can you repeat? Uh, absolutely. It's Just called... I, I rent the space? You, you will also, you're going, in a minute you're going to give me some money yeah. to rent by way of a down payment on rent. 
So not only are you going to give me a down payment on the purchase outright of the Chomets itself, but you're also going to give me some money to rent the space. Let's say somebody has, uh, I may have in my cupboard over there, that cupboard I have a packet of biscuits. Yeah. So I am going to rent to you, or rather you're going to rent from yeah. me by giving me a down payment on the rent, all spaces in people's houses, cupboards, it could be a garage, it could be a freezer, it could be a drawer in their office, it could be wherever a, a, a space that they have upon which Hummus is, is resting, you, I'm renting you are now the, 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 the resident, you're okay. the, the client, you have okay. rented that space. Okay, is that clear? Mm-hmm. You're okay Got with it. that? Yeah. Excellent, very good. And all of this is done um, to Herr Horn, Oliver Horn, Walterstrasse, 16, Berlin, 12051, is that correct? That is that's, my correct address. That's you, address. excellent. Yes. Now this, Herr Horn, is a total and absolute and irreversible sale. When I say irreversible, it means, we'll, we'll talk about what happens after Pesach, yeah. but from this point onwards, until after Pesach, the Chomet belongs to you, 100%, and that is enforceable in law, Jewish law, and of course civil, uh, uh, German commercial law as well. Okay. Okay. And this can include lots of whiskies, it can include lots of things. Now, in order to make sure that this is um, absolute, I have spoken to and have uh, clarified with those that are um, authorizing me that it na- because it's a real sale, so, yeah. so let's, say, um, let's say, let's take me. So I have a whiskey down there, okay? Yeah. Well, the moment I have a whiskey, very soon you're going to have a whiskey down there. Okay. okay? Mm-hmm. Now, it wouldn't be much of a sale. If the whiskey was yours, but you'd come knocking on the door on during Pesach, and I would say, sorry, Herr Horn, not interested, not interested in letting you in. That would make a sham and a mockery of the sale. So therefore, you need to know that you have a right of access. You absolutely have a legal, it's written into the document, because, because it has to make sense. Okay. And I have spoken to everybody and tell everybody that if, I didn't say who it is, but they know, they'll know you. Okay. So they'll say, you can go to somebody's house at two o'clock in the morning and oh. say, I want some of my whiskey. Well, I don't think it's a good idea necessarily to do it at 2 a.m. at an unsociable hour, but ser- this is seriously, seriously, you have absolute a right okay. of access to and and to consume the comments, and they, they cannot uh, deny you access. So much so, it says here in the contract that if they deny you access, you have the right to break down the door. Okay? Wow. You have an absolute wow. right of access ju- okay. op- only in order to get to, to get to your comments. Okay. In other words, this is this is this is not a joke. Okay? That's that. Okay, now, what about the value of the Chomets? Because we want to make sure that we are, um, that it's a commercially binding sale. So, I have a ballpark figure here, and it's probably somewhere in the region of 80,000 euros. But, That's that cool. is probably the total value of all of the Chomets that have been authorized to sell. Okay. Now, that could be somewhat inaccurate. It's almost certainly too much, and it's probably significantly less than that. However... Should you wish, after Pesach, to exercise your right to then pay the balance of all of the Chomets, then I will pay to have expert assessors, three expert assessors, do a proper commercial value on it to make sure that you are getting a fair price. I will then... Are you with me? And um, I'll say that again. Maybe say that again. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Sorry. Now, I have, because I've asked people yeah. as part the, of the, the form... The, the so here's an example. I've asked somebody to say, put on the form, how much do you think the Chomets, your Chomets is worth? Yeah. They don't, nobody really knows. The truth is, neither sure. do yeah. I. Like and what is the commercial value of half a bottle yeah. of whiskey? Yeah. So yeah. somebody's yeah. put here, I won't say who it is, doesn't matter. Somebody here has written 200. Ungefähr wert von Chomets. Ah, Chomets. Yes, that's that's besser right. okay. zu überschätzen. Mm. He's written 200. 200. Now, okay. this guy, whoever it is, doesn't matter. Uh, it's a woman, actually. Um, might not know exactly. So it, it may be wildly inaccurate. It's a bit of a ballpark. Therefore, I am saying, in order that you end up with a fair deal, yeah. uh, we, I, will pay, if you wish, after Pesach. Yeah. Instead of saying, I'll sell it back to you. Yeah. If instead, you exercise your right to say, actually, I want to keep all of this comments, which you're entitled to do, and then pay the balance, well, then we need to know very clearly how much the comments is worth. So then we need to call in an expert. Okay. Whoever is an expert, and you can nominate an expert, I have no problem with that, to work out a fair commercial um, a fair commercial value. Yeah. So, so I will have to pay 
for that assessment. You privately or...? Um, I uh, not you. The main thing is not yeah. you. Okay. <laughs> we, it will be paid for. That's, that's the main thing. Okay. And then we have to give you a discount. Why should you do this? You very kindly bicycled all the way over here. Now, I know you've done it because you're amazing and you've done, done it out of the goodness of your heart. Because I like but, exercise too. Okay. Yes. But still, this, uh, we want this to be something that is worth your while. Yeah. Therefore, should you choose to exercise this right afterwards, and let's say the official estimate for the value of the comments, for argument's sake, is 50,000 euros, we will give you an automatic 3% discount on the commercial value so that you are able to make a... A profit, should you so wish. So every hundred euro, there'll be three uh, percent um, uh, discount on that for you, from you. Okay. Is that clear? So if I want to keep it, if you wish to keep it, we will make sure not only you get a fair market value, but you'll get a discount. Okay. A three percent discount. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, now, you, um, it, when we come to sign this, by then you will have given me um, a down a payment. Rate. So we're kind of up to 3%. here. We're, so that says 3%. You can yeah. see where it says okay. 3%. Okay. okay. Uh, by the time we come to uh, signing this document, you will have given me a down payment. How's this going to work? You are going to give me 40 euro, yeah. which is a down payment. Down on, payment. A down payment on mm -hmm. all of the comments. Right? So it's a down payment. And from that moment on, you know, we're going to shake hands. You're going to sign this, etc. The comments is totally yours. It's a down payment. Okay. The balance will then be due after, straight after Pesach, and we will have a conversation straight after Pesach to see whether you wish to exercise your right and give me the balance, or say, no, I'm happy to sell it back to you, and we'll talk about how that works. You will not lose from it at all. Okay. Don't worry. Okay? So that's, you're going to give me 40 euro for that. You're also going to give me 40 euro as down payment for the rent of all of the places upon which the Chomets is resting, as okay. we mentioned before. One more thing I wish to say at this point, which is really important, and that is something called Kinyan Agav, which means as follows. It means that in Jewish law, there is an idea whereby if you purchase a property yeah. and there are items within it which are, let's say, ownerless, then the, the, the purchase of the property itself gives you ownership over the items that are on the property. Okay. By yeah. default, automatically, okay? And therefore, when you're going to give me the second 40 euros for the rent of the space, it's also going to work as this method, which is you've, rented the, you've got rented the space, the space is yours, and therefore, automatically, the comments on it can is I, yours. Can I ask one question? Sure. Just the theoretically, one of these persons mm -hmm. forgot something. Mm. Forgot something, and I rented out... Uh, a certain mm. uh, is in those contracts uh, the is it defined what the place of the homes is? Excellent. And is then if someone would have forgotten something, they could brilliant. Put, yeah. Are you sure you're not a rabbi? There? Are you sure you're not a rabbi? Uh, maybe, I think maybe you're, I was a, I think you're a rabbi in disguise. That is an amazing question. And I was I was going to come to that shortly. Okay. So the first thing is to show you. Let's go through one of these, by the way, because yeah. this will be useful for you. Because this is in German, so you can yeah. explain it to okay. me. Okay. You can say it to me. So here's an, a name. Let's can not I, can let's, I just, yeah, please do. Yeah. Please do. Let's not read out who it is. Yeah. Um, so email address. Is so here, there's, so there's you can see name, who they are. Telephone number the, and an address. That's right. So you know where your Hamitz is. And then over okay. the page you have you have the address. You oh, have yeah. Here it says Aufenthalt Ort, Aufenthalt, Aufenthaltsort des Hamitz in der oben genannten Adresse. Zum Beispiel Küchenschränke, Wohnzimmerschränke, Sucker, Einkaufstüten, Kinderwagen, Handtaschen, Koffer, Reisetaschen. Okay, so here that's it says right. Küchenschränke, Zimmer, Correct. It means cupboards, that's and, right. and a room, actually. Correct. Some of them are the room. And by the way, I've told everybody Correct. that they need to mark, put a post-it or some sellotape or something on it so that you walk in. You don't have to start r running around. You can see where your hummus is. Yeah. It'll be the place where it will say sold. So if I, let's say I, I, w I would go to this address, yes. have this contract with me, Correct. and could check... If the hummus is in that place, absolutely, and you can and you can consume it. Yeah. It's yours. It's your hummus. Okay. Okay. Ah, and then uh, okay. And then they've detailed. Go, go through further. Sure. I have sure. The, the value as you mm -hmm. said before. In this case, it is mm -hmm. round about two hundred. Ungefährer mm -hmm. Wert. Mm -hmm. Ungefährer Wert uh, von hummus. Besser zu überschätzen. überschätzen. So yeah. to give yeah. more of the Correct. value. Uh, two hundred euros in this case. Um, Oh, cars? There are no cars in this? Yes, here there, here's one. Okay. There's the car. Is it not allowed to own a car? You, no, 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 but it's the Hummets in the car. They're not selling ah, you the car. 
chametz. Ah. They're selling you the chametz that's in the car. Ah, okay. okay. And where the where and very important also is where is the car? Yeah. And we, let's go back to Rabbi Baum for one minute, just before yeah. I forget. Yeah. Rabbi Baum is in the USA. Yeah. You have his his address, but right. you go knocking on the door. He's not there. It's, Ah. How are you going to gain access? So it says, it's detailed there, who has the key and where the key is. Ah, so yeah. So you can gain okay. access. You okay. with me? That's very important. Okay. All right? And, uh, well, I think the most important thing, or one of the important things here is that um, the person that has written this contract mm-hmm. gives you mm, the exactly. right uh, exactly. to, to do this exactly. deal here. Absolutely. You, you, you... You're amazing. I must say, I'm incredibly impressed. I shouldn't be, but uh, you, you, well, you've got it all. You, you, you've really yeah. got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, excellent. So, yeah, yeah here's, let's, it's written Kaufvertrag. Star Mechira. That means, that means the document of sale. That means yeah. the document of sale. Yeah. Okay. And I'm actually really pleased that you are taking notes and that you are taking this very seriously okay. because that's really I what we want. want and to I understand what I'm doing. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's really, really amazing. That's okay. fantastic. So, this is, um, I think we were nearly finished, the master document. Um, and it details in the master document the different methods of transfer of ownership that we're going to do. So the, the money, the rent, we're going to shake hands. Um, and the, the, there's, a, there's a number of others as well. And you're going to, uh, we're going to exchange, you're going to give me um, that very nice yeah. um, cloth serviette yeah. of yours and I'm going to explain to you how that works so here it just details the different the seven different methods of acquisition we're going to utilize and that this document is it will be binding even if there's a printing mistake or um, uh, some other tiny error we don't want a tiny we don't want a little hiccup to to upset the whole thing and this is a proper contract which is made uh, and this is then it has today's date in Hebrew which mm-hmm. is Yom Shlishi Tuesday which is the 13th day of Nissan and the year 5780 for our counting po- year of Berlin. I'm right at the bottom. That's Berlin. Okay. And I'm going to sell it. And then, uh, I'm going to sign it and then you're going to sign it. But we're going to do that after we do the various. Okay. Okay. So, we, so we're good. Yeah. We're ready. Yeah. I think I Let's got it. go. Okay. Excellent. So we're going to go through these one by one. We're going to go through. I've explained. Uh, right. So the first thing we're going to do is you let me ask you. So first of all, let me say. And this is something called Odisa for any learned people who are watching this. Kenyan Odisa. I declare and I acknowledge, I articulate that all the people here have absolutely given me, given me total um, authorization and power of attorney to sell the Khametz on their behalf. I'm stating that for the record. Okay? That's yeah. point number one. I can... I've seen it in the you can one see, you can see. contract. And yeah. And, you, and you're yeah. Going to, these are yours. You're going, to take, you're going to take them away with you. You'll see that. That's point number one. Um, you are you are you prepared to purchase the the, the all of this comments? Yes. Okay. Excellent. That's very kind of you. Now I would like a down payment, please, on the comments. Um, and I'm happy to, from my perspective, I'm happy to take a forty euro down payment on the comments. Okay. Please, if yeah, if that's okay we can with you. Do that. Yeah. Here's twenty forty. Thank you very much. That's so. That is you have purchased the comments with money. And the balance is owing what that balance will be. If you choose to keep it after Pesach, we'll bring in the expert assessors and you'll get a 3% discount on that. Okay? Right. That's the first thing. The next thing, and very important, is the rent of the spaces upon which the Chomets is. Um, and if I could have a down payment on the rent, please, of 40 euros, if that's okay. That's okay. Thank you. And included in that... 20 euros, thank you. 40 euros. Thank you. And included in that, as we already explained, is that by virtue of you renting the space... Any comments that's on it, Agav, is yours as well. Okay? Great. Good. That's number two down. We are now going to do the following. Um, there is a concept in, 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 in Jewish law. Um, it, it used to, it, it, to some extent, uh, you know, uh, uh, barter, where we can exchange items. Yeah. So you have there a very fine um, uh, serviette. Yeah. Um, I don't know exactly how much it's worth, but it's got, it's got, a, got a bit of value. And if you're prepared to give that to me, I will take ownership of it. And in exchange, I'm going to give you the... the, the uh, so I have the power of attorney to sell everybody's chametz. In exchange, I am going to be prepared to pass over the ownership of that chametz to you. It's another method. It's just another method. Okay. Okay? So this was yours. I lift it up. It now becomes mine. And in exchange, I give you the chametz um, that everybody has authorized me to sell. 
And then we are going to do also, we are going to shake hands on the deal. You ready to yes. shake hands? We've both sanitized our yes. hands. We're going to shake hands on the deal. Thank All you right. so much. Thank That's you. another way of making it, of making it binding. And I am also going to shortly, I'm going to give you the, I'm going to give you some of the, we're going to sign the documents now. Now we are ready. Give me a second. Just check. I haven't missed anything out. We are going to, we're going to sign the documents. We've done Agav, we've done Tzchirus, we've done Chalipin, Suda, Sutumta, we've done Tkias Kaf, Oidisa. Um, we'll do a serious sum tech shortly. So now this is now this is going to be this is the master document. Yours you've already written on, so I'm going to use this one. It's exactly the same. Is that okay yeah. with you? Yeah. So what I am going to do, actually, I am going to so I'm going to sign it. This is the master document, and I'm going to give you as a token. Um, and we could also absolutely do this for other people as well. These are the keys to my apartment. Okay, you are going to very shortly own Hamid in my apartment. Okay, and therefore I am giving you. These are the keys to my apartment, which means that you can access, you can access the chametz okay. whenever you so wish. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and now I am going to sign the document. I'm going to sign it in Hebrew and in English. But shouldn't we sign both documents? No, it's only it's only one. You can take one away as a, as a copy, but this that is only one that is uh, binding. Okay. And the master one that was just a copy I printed okay. out, and it's got your notes on it, yep. so we know that's just your copy. Okay. But this is going to be the legally binding master okay. document and I'm going to give this to you because this this is going to be for you okay ah you don't keep a copy oh no 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 you don't no, no. keep a copy with my signature no no I don't need to okay. I, no I don't need to I, I trust you it's fine um, so I'm signing this document now because we've done all of that to make the sale valid that's my signature in Hebrew and also in English and if you would kindly sign on the bottom there, here? Just, 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 just here. Okay. Make it, make it move. That's right. From left, that's it. Excellent, brilliant, brilliant. Okay. wonderful. And the date was already. The on date, there, was, the date yeah. was on there. Yeah. Now I want to add that, like I said, there are two sets of sale. Okay. I also want to add one thing before I go any further. I am also selling chametz on behalf of Rav, Rabbi Gebala in. I don't know how you pronounce it. Is it Duisburg? Duisburg. 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 So these are from his community, and he has authorized me. He wrote a separate special document to authorize me for those who had authorized him. Wow. Okay. You hear me? Yeah. That was another, yeah, another thing. It, so there was another document here where oh. he, Mursha Rishon and Mursha Shaini, where he had, because they authorized him. Yeah. So he now has to authorize me. How that works is a bit more so, technical, yeah. and those are the ones from Duisburg. He didn't, do, didn't have a hair horn like you did. He d wasn't lucky enough to have a hair horn. No. That is absolutely <laughs> correct. So point number one is, first thing I want to give to you, together with this, is these are the documents of those, Rabbi Baum and others, those are, who are in a different time zone, and that will be binding and irreversible, and they will not have access to the horn from now. This moment, I give right. this to you now. Merci. That's Good yours. Thank you. That is yours, and that there, that sale is valid from now. Okay. Um, I'm also going to do now, as the very final thing, I am going to give you the. Um, I'm going to give you now all of this bundle. Now, really, um, I want to attach it. Now, it's not easy to attach it. So, give me back the the, the just the master contract for a second. Yes, may I borrow? This is your yeah, master yeah, contract. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to borrow this for a second. Yeah. Now, ideally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I can't staple them all together. I don't have a way of attaching them. What I am going to do, if you don't mind, is I'm going to... So that this doesn't... Although I can't staple it to all of them, but I'm going to staple it to a bunch of them here so that they are clearly... Uh, they're not going to... We, no, can, we can put, put them in some kind of envelope. So I'm going to do or, that. I'm going to give you, bear with me one second, I'm now going to give you a plastic wallet where they're all going to go into. And hopefully this one is, uh, hope this one is big enough. If not, I think I've got a bigger one down there in my cupboard. Um, and we're going to put them all into there. Could be maybe a little small. It, it is. Try. I think I have a bigger one here. Yeah. Sorry, I should be a little bit better prepared. Here we go. Yeah, this is a full stack one. This is an expensive one. I won't charge you any extra for it. Uh, but I don't want to see it in the office at school. I'm joking. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, this is just so that we, we can get all of the different... Because there's quite a lot in there. Okay? So, here we have the master document. You've got the the ones from um, Duisburg. You've got the ones from um, um, from uh, um, all the Americans yeah. and anybody else and everybody else from the community. 
And that basically concludes that. From this moment on, you are the owner of quite a significant amount of chametz. We will talk on the phone straight after Pesach. Okay. Okay. I'm going to call you uh, literally five minutes after Pesach is out okay. um, to discuss what the next step should be. Should you wish to uh, keep, keep owning the chametz and pay the balance, or uh, should you wish to sell it back? Uh, again, either way, I, gar- I guarantee you that you will not, you will not lose from it. Uh, um, you okay. certainly will not lose from it. And it I just remains for me to thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate honor. it, especially in these difficult times. And yeah. like I say, just to reiterate, this is a totally legally binding and uh, um, valid sale. And from I this moment on, you own a lot of hobbits. And, I and people, access to your apartment. You have access to my apartment. You've paid rent. you paid a down payment. Okay. We've done everything else. And for the benefit of the camera, because I'm going to send this out to the community, yeah. yes, as an unlisted YouTube, if that's okay with you, yeah, um, okay. those, so people want to know, the, uh, they can still access and eat chametz, but only up until 10.53 tomorrow morning. Do you give them permission? To, for sure. And, if, and, and then when we come to make the final um, thing, they are, they are um, that will be deducted, whatever isn't there anymore. Okay? okay until Lovely. 10.53... 10, you can tomorrow. use it. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Oliver. That was amazing. Thank you.